All right, everyone, welcome back to the Hall of Heroes in Divinity Original Sin, and uh, we're gonna go. I wonder who that creature hey, uh, was, and how come she seemed to know? I think we got a lot to catch up on here. Oh, what the hell? There's a cat here. Uh, that's Arhu. Why? I see Master Zigzags has upgraded from his shabby little hut at the edge of the hour, from the fairy dimension to the um, space-time weaver hunter imp one. What do you call this place again? This is our homestead on the shelter plane at the end of time. The fuck? Ha! Is that so? It seems I have my share to learn about the magical world yet. The end of time. Well, suddenly your association with Master Zigzags makes sense. Well, I must say, it's no small relief to find myself in a safe haven among such allies. Uh, let's start from the beginning. How's your s sister involved in dire happenings around Rivalon? I believe the answer to that begins centuries ago, when your order was still cutting down so-called dark magicians by the dozens. Ours was a family of born sorcerers, you see. It was in our blood to interact with Source. But our parents were determined to curb the power within us. Still, their meekness wouldn't save them from the Source Hunters. That is true, you are a sorcerer. I am. But there is more to our kind than they teach at your academy. Source isn't only blood and madness. It's like lightning, an exquisite current of great power. We sorcerers are like metal steeples. Source is drawn to us and it flows through us. But what so many fail to understand is that Source can be controlled. The power drunk through history have abused it, and all the world's sorcerers have borne terrible consequences. What consequences do you mean? Tell me, Source Hunter. In all your hours studying the arcane arts, did your great masters ever suggest that perhaps not all sorcerers were evil? Did you ever hear, even once, that some of us were weak and gentle? That we could be simple forest folk healing the sick and frozen each winter? No. I doubt also that they'd mention that one day this hunt of yours would birth a broken soul powerful enough to inch all of Rivalon toward oblivion. You mean to blame Leandra's doings on Source Hunters? No. No, that would be going too far and eschewing my own responsibility. I believe Leandra's long fall down did begin at the hands of some of your own order. But it was I who sparked all of this. You mean someone of your own order to, uh, killed your parents? They came on a quiet morning. My mother was wild with fright and commanded me to hide myself and Leandra outside, among the trees. Even at that young age, we knew not to question her. We climbed high into the branches of a nearby tree, and before we could look away, our parents were cut down without ceremony before our door. The Source Hunters sauntered away, wiping their blades with pride. Two more sorcerers dead, a job well done. What became of Leandra and yourself? From that moment on, everything was different. As we trembled in that tree, our fear and our desperation were so potent that the magic within us began to weave together. Our souls became forged together, our bond unbreakable. We would survive thrive even within those woods, never speaking to outsiders. Our soul forge meant that if one of us were to die, the other would instantly perish too. We kept one another close. Leandra's capacity was enormous. Source didn't frighten her, and she delved into that dark well with terrible regularity. I did my best to guide her, but she fast outgrew my admonitions. Tell me, tell me what happened between yourself, Leandra, and the wizard. My sister and I were mired in a solitary existence. Witches among the trees when Zandalor came. Leandra especially couldn't leave him be. He was a feast of information, and she wouldn't rest until she'd absorbed every bit of knowledge he offered. Their days were spent on charms, hexes, and the like. At night, Leandra would wander off to practice what she'd learned, and Zandalor and I would settle into our... Quiet tasks, side by side. We were a content trio, the three of us, but base impulse would undo us. What do you mean by base impulse? As you know, Leandra and I were soul-forged. This offered us a window into one another's souls, 
I knew Leandra had developed feelings for Xandalore, and she knew I had too. But it was me to whom he confessed his love. Those quiet evenings together had captured his heart, as they had mine. Her heart broke the moment we announced our new attachment, and I felt the pain of it as sharply as a knife. She fled, without a word, and I didn't see her for two terrible years. My connection to her, our soul forge, grew weaker. It was as though some third entity, a parasite, were atop our souls, sucking the strength from it day by day. Is there no redeeming your sister? I believe that our soul forge has been damaged. By what? I can only guess. The fraying of the bond between us has left Leandra adrift in a well of sorrow she truly believes will never end. What she needs is a hand. My hand, out of this abyss. If our soul forge is repaired, I am certain she'll cease blazing this path of destruction. Uh, what's next? How do we stop Leandra? We've a single order of business first and foremost. Leandra is gathering an army, and I fear we'll have to get through it if we wish to find her. But first, we must learn more about Leandra's plans. How many of these so-called Immaculates does she have in her palm, and to what end is she directing them? Your journey must begin in the Lakula Mines, where she has been accumulating materials and manpower for a purpose as yet unknown. The way will be dangerous. Her allies are growing more powerful and numerous by the minute. But we must discover exactly what Leandra is planning and why. What can you tell me about infiltrating the mines? A soul forge comes with its own benefits, Source Hunter. Though our connection has weakened, I still see the occasional vision of Leandra's doings, the pangs of her deepest felt emotions, and flashes of her triumphs. One vision. I had thought it was only a nightmare, but now I see it was something much worse. Leandra is collecting materials, precisely what, I cannot say, and is hard at work shaping them into something... something sinister. Her frustrations are rivaled only by her mirth. I can see she's growing closer and closer to achieving something... something dire. You must make your way deep into the mines to see exactly what she's planning. Let's discuss the full soul forge between you and Leandra. I cannot condone the terrible things she's done, but I can seek to understand them. With our soul forge in such tatters, I believe Leandra is adrift in the not at all inconsiderable sorrows of our lives. What's more, I sense a terrible force bearing down upon the bond between us. It is hungry, and it consumes ever more of Leandra's mind and soul. I cannot say exactly what this force might be, but I'm certain it's both driving me out and driving Leandra on. If I could only repair the forge, I'm certain she'd put a stop to this madness. I'll take my leave. Alright, I see you're bored. No? I have seen the void, and it haunts me. Oh, I got two more characters to talk to. Like confused spots after staring in the sun. Talk to Aru next. Haunted by or, the same vision, my friend. The end of all visions. But only in the dark can light be born. Let us cling to that and hope. How can I help you, my friend? Uh, I've learned about the relationship between Zandalor and the Witch Sisters. You had no idea. You told me you had no idea who the stranger in the inn could have been. Ah, uh, yes, that was a small fib on my part, I'm afraid. Xandalor is known as the Keeper of the Source, after all. And I didn't know how Source Hunters would react to my association with such a... colorful character. Okay, well, he didn't have much to say. So we'll talk to the Weeper of Time. How welcome you are upon this realm, our most honored guest. I hope you begin to find this place more familiar than it may yet seem. I think we've already... We've already talked about her. But we'll say, uh... Well, I don't know, we'll do it one more time. In the ethereal threads of eternity, do I record the deeds of gods and men, of beasts and spectral apparitions, the drift of continents through changing seas, the rise and fall of empires, the shift of every grain of sand on every beach, the fall of every raindrop on every world, 
the all but imperceptible touch of lovers' hands. This and all I chronicle without fault. Except, it seems, you. Let's discuss the rooms I've discovered here at the end of time. Threads I weave and tales I see. All will I tell. I met a strange woman in one of the other rooms. Can you tell me more about her? She is one whose history is shrouded in darkness. She is more than a woman, though less than a goddess. She knows you. You have wronged her. She is part of the end, though she longs to be part of endlessness. I discovered a great hall beyond one of the portals. Can you tell me more about it? The threads tell me that once... Oh, how many eons lie hidden in so small a word. Once, you strode across that hall in shining armor, a sovereign to all who beheld your might. I can clearly read that armies you have led, demons and dragons you have conquered, that you have... ascended. But how can this be now that you stand before me a human, a mortal? How far has your soul fled from the being it used to be? New threads. More threads we need. I have met with Leandra and the, and the realm of uh, Ibrahim. She's using the star stones to create a bloodstone. Leandra. She desires to be mother of the void. But you have the power to undo her born in blood litter. Though they be baptized in blood, you can cleanse the star stones still, and use them to thwart their grim queen. I wonder what the Weaver of Time has a trade. Apparently pixie dust, thread, and needle. Ah, well, she is the Weaver of Time. I'll take my leave. Right, I'm done here, Kent. So this, this is like this first garden thing over here. Wait a sec. Think time Apparently I'm still supposed to talk to- apparently so talk to her as a quest. Dangling, How might I serve our mission? Uh... There are more questions I have for you. Ask, and I shall answer, if I can. Uh. If okay, well, I'll ask her who. Who are you really? I am the Weaver of Time, as I have told you. Though my existence is one that falls behind and yet far exceeds the verb to be, I am but what I am, and that is task. It is the same for the historian. Chroniclers both are we of the epics of eternity. Perhaps we are one and the same. Task multiplied by two. Who has made us? I do not know. Why have they done so? I do not know. Am I the beginning? And am I to be the end? Who shall say? Perhaps I am the first thing in creation. Perhaps I am creation. Perhaps I am the creator. Or maybe it is you. You who makes dying stars rekindle. Time alone will tell. Uh, and why is the star stone so important? Why does it react to me and my colleague alone? Alas, the answers to those questions still elude me. You and Starstone remain the imperfections upon the tapestry. As yet. A hidden answer lies behind this veil of inscrutability, though. For the link between you and the stones reveals that your destinies are intertwined. I believe that star stones will not lead you to new places of wonder only. No. They will also lead to new knowledge through the restoration of the threads of old. This may sound silly, but aren't you lonely out here? <laughs> oh, Hunter. I have no need for company, like I have no need for air, or appetite, or affection. All I need, and all I am, is time. And time is running out, unless you remedy its decline. And yet, I do enjoy your companionship, for you may prove to become the cure that will heal my slipping soul. If I understand correctly, I am not featured on the canvas of time. Quite so. Your absence. It should be an impossibility. But no matter where I look, you cannot be found. I do not know you, which makes you my one perennial imperfection. A blind spot in the eye of time. But perchance I may be cured of this blindness. Perchance the blemish may be undone. And time 
can be redeemed. I've heard of this place called the End of Time. Is that what it is? No more, no less? What it is, is but a seed bereft of sun and water. What it could be, that is what the Star Stones will tell us. What it is, is but the end. What it could be, is the end of ends. I reside in another realm altogether. But ever since the end of time appeared in these deep dark skies, I materialized here as if forced to watch the one thing that is unwatchable, unendurable. A thankless task that you may yet free me from forever. How can I redeem time if, as you say, I'm not even a part of it? I think that perhaps you can redeem time because you create time. Indeed, you have set in motion an event I no longer held possible. Know that no longer I did weave. I sat here, at the end of time, and watched on as the void frays the fabric of time like a terrified god that fears the offspring of his own creations. But suddenly there was you. You who stirred the life within the stones. These stones, children of stars, they place new ribbons along my fingers like phantoms out of time. New threads emerged, and I began to weave anew. Starstone gives me new strands to braid into the tapestry. And because you give Starstone energy, it seems that you are creating time. These Starstones, please seek them so that time may yet be mended. Please, for the sake of all that lives and all that loves, seek them so that the void may yet devour itself alone. I'll take my leave. Alright. What were you saying? There's like stuff over here. Okay, we'll have a look at that in a sec. Um, apparently we're Jesus, Kent. Collectively? Yes, apparently. Which half am I? I don't know. The cool half, that's the, what. The lower half. Alright, let me figure out where you are. Mike, you're a dick. Ah, funny guy. Where, where are you at? Uh, Holy shit. Jimmy. I know, I just want to look at where you are. To the first garden? I don't think we can go there yet. Okay, well I just figured I'd check. I didn't want to project because I didn't want to check or anything, but there's a bottle down here. Which goes to the forbidden zone. Which one? Uh, where is that one? The right here. Damon, Dave, Oops, good. I'm talking about no. John by accident. Is this a portal? Oh, it is. Yeah, it refuses to work. <laughs> it refuses to work. What a cheeky cunt. Because I was to say inactive. I think that was different because it said it had a thing. There's a shit ton of portals here. Is there any more here? Oh, yeah. Well, not, we know about that one already. Well, the All imp's right. near one of them. Talk to the imp. I'll go talk to him. See what that's about. Oh, you, oh, by the way, the, the chest. We need to talk to the chest, actually. I have the last chest. The last chest. The last chest! If you believe yourself worthy of rifling through my ample treasures, I do dare you to prove it! Find my four sisters, no more than one in each of the realms of your wide world, and each by each, you'll discover how to open me! So we need to find four of the last chests or something? We, we didn't find one in Hyberheim, it says. Uh, well, I, I assume it's in the Hyperheim realm. Aha! The Starstone Seekers return! Most fortuitous indeed, for I have been pondering over the nature of our shelter plane like a poet over his muse. For now, I will refrain from entertaining or, as the case may be, annoying you with hapless conjectures until in the maze that is my mind, I happen to stumble upon a clue more concrete than mere theory. In the meantime, and in the interest of saving time, uh, please tell me your thoughts about the lady you talked to in the Hall of Heroes during your previous visit. She seemed to recognize us and called us guardians. She said she deceived us and that we deserted her in turn. Deceive? Desert? Your words, they ring a distant bell, but uh, they are but pieces of the puzzle. Uh, and yet, could she be? But no, hold your chattering tongue, Zigzat. You promised you wouldn't hazard any guesses, and you'll stick to your word. 
You have my thanks, friends, for indulging me. A new portal has opened, and no doubt you are as curious as I am to find out what lies beyond. Let's go and take a look. Yeah. Go look to the inner chamber. This looks cozy. Almost like coming home. What is this? It is true. She told me she had seen you. Yet never would I have believed her delusions until here now they manifest before me. You have become undeniable. Oh shit, it's Tassadar. <laughs> the scurrilous sentinels themselves. It is miraculous, irrefutably so. But oh, how low you have fallen. Look at what you have become. What was stars have become moribund embers. You, you are to be pitied. That demon. Oh, dude, it's a demon. Not too friendly either. <laughs> Johan's probably not happy about this. Ah, oh, he's gone now. Ah, oh, there's shit free to loot here. Oh my god. It's worth 28. So this place, uh, we already know about. This is actually, this is technically the last place we've been to in, in the campaign. Others call it skill. Yeah, you're gonna loot this shit. So if we go look at the mirror, we get the character creation screen. So we can actually change our appearance now. So I can, I don't know, I can be whatever. Underwear one, I want underwear one. Are you sure you're gonna Underwear two. Oh, I'm gonna cancel it. I, I want to get rid of this stupid hat. It looks retarded. I don't know why I've had it this whole time. You're wearing underwear too? Bastard. So like there's is... nothing here. But one thing we can do is we can store things in the chest here. And apparently they don't go away or anything. This is like a persistent place. Or like they can't be stolen or something. I don't know if that's even possible to be stolen. Well, maybe some things re like... They cycle up the contents of the chest? I don't know. It's basically, yeah, it's, it's, this is the safest place for us to put things if we want to. There's also Stardust Turbs. Oh, ancient Diary. Ancient Diary? Yeah, it's up on this table up here. Oh, there's an ancient letter here. Honor General... I don't know, I'm never reading this. We have our own rooms? Yeah, we do. Just, why get out of my room? <laughs> How do you know whose is whose? That's the real question. Uh, which one has the afro comb? Let's find out. <laughs> you can change that now, you know. Well, I think, uh, well, actually, the other room has the why mirror. Why would I? The other room has the mirror, so I think that's the one you want. What am I doing? This isn't my chest. This isn't my chest. <laughs> <laughs> it's my room. Get out of here. <laughs> hey, I found some arrows in your fuck. You holding out of me, bitch. <laughs> Maybe I was the archer. Hey, am I allowed to... Wait, did my you loot that box? Yeah, it's my room. Remember it. Yeah, this is my room. Yeah. Get the fuck out. It wouldn't let me touch it. It was like, uh, this isn't mine. There's nothing in there, by the way. I know, there's nothing in mine either. Go figure. Why, why do you get this? So you get the mirror, so obviously, yeah, you're the afro guy. <laughs> no. That, that clearly is your room. You should wear swag as me. Let's see what happens when I try and touch your... When I, when I try and touch your chest. So that chest is the one that... I guess, um... Is just yours. It's like, the other partner can't open it. So if you're co-oping, I guess, with someone else. This isn't my chest. Which... Somehow, I knew. So that's, I guess, the safest place to put your belongings. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, like, if you don't yeah, but couldn't you just possess partner. my character and then take it from me? Well, I guess so, because I'm the host, so fuck you. <laughs> yes, look, fucking... I think we're done here. Let's send this... Oh, oh, wait, dude, we got a new option here. Try and right-click something, you get sent to Homestead. Huh. Uh, if, I cool. if I send it to Homestead, where's it go? Because I have like these blank skill books and shit. So it just fucking teleports to the chest? It's fucking ridiculous. See, that's what it does? Yep. That's where it went. Cool. 
So we can now teleport things to our homestead. Interesting. That's not bad. All right, where's uh, where's Zigzags? Uh, I'm gonna talk to him some more. Call him a cunt. Alright, I'm gonna go talk to her about the thing I, I saw. Talk to me. Let, let us talk. Wait, I have to talk to you? Oh. No, he talked to me, but it's fine. You do your thing, I'll just wait. What is he? Alright, okay, go ahead. I tried to talk to him. Something quite astounding, what? you see. The, uh, it's the Weaver, the star stone you've collected. Uh, she's mentioned a portion of the tapestry. 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 Look, a new oh, God. I, I can see it, don't worry. A new portion of history appears to us for the first time in not even I know how long. Let us look together. Let us see what the Weaver has woven. Long ago, two great generals led mankind in a terrible war. The dreaded Void Dragon threatened all of existence, and man and gods alike joined swords to stop it. The two generals were celebrated as the rulers of all, and even the gods paid them tribute. Confused spots after staring in the sun. We are Is that it? Are you done talking to him? Vision, my friend. I'll the talk to the statue. Wait, you're talking to the statue? Well, it's talking to me. I, I actually can't listen in on that conversation. Can't click on me listening? No? Elements I greet uh, you, I see honorable right. master of the house. I am the shepherd of elements, and I control how they may flock towards your most imperial presence. So if it pleases you, command me, and the elemental aspect of your choice shall once more settle among the holy halls. Alright, what's your... What's let's go with the fire elemental, let's go with the ice elemental, let's go with the earth elemental, let's go with the air elemental, and I'll take my leave. Okay. I cannot bother with a statue. Shame. <laughs> Um, I, I try, I, dude, I tried to talk to Zigzags when we came out, and then I didn't get any conversation. Yet they ambushed you. I know which one do you want. Fire Elemental, I, uh, I think this would probably give you, like, the magic, wouldn't it? Magic what? Skill books. Oh. No, I guess. Well, I don't think so. Seeing as you're the mage, what? Fire, what you ice, want? earth, or air? I guess yeah. I guess let's take uh, I don't know I think I share air. Let's see. And then air, uh, maybe fire because I have the most fire with both of my characters. Yeah, I do fire. Okay. Zigzags won't shut the fuck up. And that's your final choice. Uh, yes, it is. I guess. That'd be done. Okay, I guess we'll go to the Hall of Flames. Yeah, he wouldn't shut the fuck up the entire time. Okay, let's see what the Hall of Flames is all about. Good God, what an infernal heat! Feels like I've landed inside the heart of the sun! Nice. I, I think we unlocked them all eventually. Guardians must listen to him. His every word is poison, such as no serpent has ever known. Okay, apparently we... So we're just having a conversation for some reason. I I can't talk to this thing. I can. Why can't you? I I can't click. Like when I click him, nothing happens. What the fuck? Are you having dialogue with him? Yeah, listen to me. <laughs> oh, cause I think you opened it. <laughs> what radiates burns from your being enough to scorch you and likes me? Find no small feet. Yes, most impressive indeed. 
Who are you? What are you doing here? Who are you? Why, I am a soldier of fire. And does this landscape not befit me? I have lived here for eons, since the first great peace, when the world as your kind know it, was first secured. We were invited here by a great leader, I believe. Yes, a leader, I'm sure it was. The details, they crumble like ash when I try to grasp them in truth. But the radiance of that time has never left me. Victory, blazing victory, adorned our heads like a crown of glorious flames. I'm sure one as radiant as yourself must understand exactly what I mean. What do you know about fire magic? What do I know? Ha! Fire magic is me, and I am it. A far better question is what would you like to know? Oh, now he's, he's in vending mode. Yeah. Uh, what, what does he have? Oh, he has man at arm skills. Oh, okay. Huh. Uh, burning touch, explode, firefly, fireball, immolation, infectious flame, Next. Media strike, purifying fire, fire absorption, and summon fire elemental. Purifying fire, fire, and I think the other one that you mentioned before. I'll, I'll look at them later. I'll look at those. So if you look at them now, I think I'll take my leave. So this is just a way. I can bother with. It's just, okay, apparently my log updated. General story: the, ge the ge this general is fed up with responsibilities he has been given to her as a ruler. It's a great mental burden. Okay. Well, let me go. I don't know why all of a sudden you can only talk to people. It's really weird. Maybe it's because I triggered it. Uh, I still can't talk to this guy. Really? Yeah. Uh, okay, so things I think fucked up right now because I can't talk to anybody. So let me go and. Um... Uh, can you talk to us? Try talking to Yahan. No, I can't talk to anybody. This is the problem. Actually. Okay, so right, right. Let me, let me oh, reload it. I don't know how the fuck this happened. This might be the reason why I haven't been able to talk to people. Because now, now they're just yelling at me. It's like, I want to talk to your fucking master. You, there we go, now I can. What radiance right. burns from your being? All Enough right. to scorch even the likes of me, I find. And that is no small feat. Most impressive. Do you want enraged? Most impressive indeed. <laughs> enraged is uh, less chance to hit, but more damage and critical strike chance and, and stuff. Oh, that, 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 oh, that's a fucking man at arms skill. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. You, you, Majora totally wants that, and you know it. Oh yeah, definitely it's on a it's top tier, right? Barbed wires. Reflect melee damage inflicted upon you at the cost of your chance to hit. Uh, it's a bunch of stances. Oh, I see. That's the one that you have. Dude, you, why don't you have that one? You taunt them and then bar barbed wire them. Requires but a shield. I've never had, it's never been on sale. Oh, it requires a shield, though. Okay, then fuck it. Yeah. Fire arrow. Infectious flame. Cast a magical flame that forks upon impact. Oh, I think I, I have that one. I haven't been able to use it yet, though. Meteor strike. Oh, dude, I totally want meteor strike. It can only be yeah, used once did. for combat? Never mind. Fuck that shit. <laughs> it's still pretty good, though. Think about it. It's a one hit wonder. Purifying fire. Purifying fire is the good one. This guy has a lot of money. You can vendor a shit ton of stuff to this guy. You're right! And when you're right, you're right. Yeah, go ahead. Take care. Get Purifying Flame, if you can. I'm gonna go talk to some of the other characters, since I wasn't able to before. Alright, wait, he's, he's fucking going this way. Why? I, I think we have to get more shit in the fucking... this place. Oh my god. I don't know if I should keep going right now. Okay, I guess we'll keep going then. Fuck. Uh, it's we're at like three four minutes, but I'll I'll look at one more place. I wonder who awaits you in the next chamber. Ah, we meet again, and well met you are. Did you know I've constructed a little theory about you both? Yes, I have indeed. The theory is this: you are not you, or rather, you are you, but you is not all there is to you, and that goes for both of you. But I see you're staring at me like a cow stuck in an astronomy lesson, so uh, let me start again. I think that you carry two souls inside of you. One that belongs to the mortal human beings that you are now, and one that belongs to certain someones with whom we've both become acquainted. 
You remember that segment of the tapestry your efforts helped to mend, don't you? The two great generals, how they led the battle against the Void's first attack on Rivalon. Are you implying that the souls of those two great generals are within us? It would explain a lot, wouldn't it? Your connection to the Void, your presence here at the end of time. True, the mystery of Starstone remains, but at this rate, we'll have it sorted out in two shakes of Ahu's tail. As luck would have it, a new portal awaits. Perhaps answers do as well. So, onward. All right, time to open a new portal. What's uh, up with here? A study? A library? Mike, do you want two casts of uh, Purifying Fire? Uh, I already have one already. I think it's one one. I'm in a library. Also, I think we have discussion with each other. So you should teleport to me pretty soon. Okay. If not right now, actually, just so we can get this out of the way. I'm in a, I'm in a library. We, it's It's got loot here. Get the fuck over here. Okay, good. A second soul. Do you think it could be true? Uh... <laughs> Why not? You don't have to convince me that this thing... <laughs> Why not? You don't have to convince me there's something infinitely great innate to my being. <laughs> yes, just look at the events we've set in motion. Our souls are meant to soar, and they'll soar yet. Spiritual. I think that's what I want. I don't remember either, to be honest. There's so many options. I think it needs just to stop caring at it's some point. Just immune to fear. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's good. It's good. It's good. We're in a lab now. Guardians. Fuck. Dear guardians, when I see your faces, it is like the barriers of time tumble in upon themselves. But oh, how my heart aches when I think of the duty you adopted. It was more than even the gods had the right to ask of you. You did not want it, but you took it upon yourselves nonetheless. Though many wailed and many wept. In a ruptured world, wherein all resolve had crumbled, you renounced life and liberty to stand guard and protect every last morsel of creation. When I despair, I think of your sacrifice. In my darkest hours, I cherish the resolve that was you. Good thing to be cherished. Oh, well, how did I learn how to make improved leather helmet? I read a book. Oh, okay. I didn't think it gave you that many pop-ups, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it did, it did just now. Oh, dude, there's a Teller of Secrets. I want to talk to a Teller of Secrets. Hail, holy light, offspring of heaven, firstborn. Uh, she sells secrets of the trade. Holy shit, she sells a lot of secrets of the trade. Compendium of mortal techniques, ancient tome of body mastery. Dude, we have to we have to pick about this pick about this shit off for. <laughs> how much does it cost? A lot. All right. Tell yeah, I'm not taking that. <laughs> you realize I have a limit on how much I can take, right? Uh, okay, then I guess not. Tell me about yourself. About me, the guardian's first disobedience and the fruit of that forbidden box whose depths brought death into this world and all our woe with loss of source I remember. I come no spy with purpose to explore or to disturb the secrets of your realm, but secrets of my own I bring. The secrets of another world, perhaps not lawful to reveal. Uh, I'm interested to find out more about your secrets. To ask or search, I blame thee not. For Rivalon is as the Book of the Gods before thee set, wherein to read his wondrous works and learn his seasons, hours or days or months or years. Okay, that's it. Not very direct, are you? Whence thou returnest, and whither wentest, I know. Direct okay, I hate this person, I don't want to talk to them. Alright, go ahead, you, you go, you go, Barter. Mundane secret. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not finding any of that. Like, I, 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 no. You don't want secrets? No. All right. Well, that's that's all we have here today, right now, right? I don't want to do anything else here. All right. That's all the time we got for today, guys. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye bye.